Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, Speak Life. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Matthew 8, verse 8. Many seldom understand the power of words. We grow up hearing sticks and stones may break our bones, but words can never harm us. I submit to you that that is a blatant lie. Words are sometimes more damaging than receiving a physical injury because there are times when a person can recover from a physical injury, but they'll carry the hurt of words to their graves. Many times, instead of speaking positive things, we use our mouths to kill our neighbors, co-workers, and those that are around us. There's this little thing that says, I am more deadly than the screaming bullets of a gun. I win without killing. I tear down homes, break hearts, wreck lives. I travel on the wings of the wind. No innocence is strong enough to intimidate me. No purity is enough to stop me. I have no regard for truth, no respect for justice, no mercy for the defenseless. My victims are numerous as the sands of the sea and often as innocent. I never forget and seldom forgive. My name is Gossip. We read in Proverbs 15 verse 4 that a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. But then James reminds us as well that the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, evil, and full of deadly poison. Many of us fail to realize that this world that we now live in was created by words. Those of us who have been filled with the Holy Ghost have been given some of that authority to speak life into being. But the enemy has deceived us and caused us to use that authority to tear down each other or even to hinder our own miracles. We find that for years the enemy has been attacking the church, causing us to not want to open our mouths anymore while praising God. Sometimes being in church, somebody will shout and somebody will look at them funny because we have now become so accustomed to being quiet. We're reminded as well in Revelation that they overcame the dragon by the words of their testimony. Speaking is very important in the life of the child of God. It was Ezekiel who was in the valley of dry bones. And the Lord asked him, can these dry bones live? And notice what the Lord said to Ezekiel. He said to him, prophesy. In other words, open your mouth and speak life. You have been given power and authority. Don't waste it in tearing down somebody's marriage. Don't waste it by tearing down other people's children. Don't waste it by tearing down somebody because they were promoted over you. There are even some negative words that were spoken over your life. You have the authority to reverse every negative word that was spoken over your life. The centurion understood what authority is. And so he told Jesus that, Lord, you don't have to come to my house. All you have to do is just to open your mouth and speak. Don't let the enemy bound you with what we call lockmouthitis, keeping you quiet and only opening your mouth to speak words that are negative. But today is a breaking point. Today, I'm getting a mind renewal, opening my mouth to speak over my day, opening my mouth to speak over my children, opening my mouth to speak over my future. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a child of God. I shall win because I am the head and not the tail. You've got the power and the authority to speak life. The quote of the day, you have the power of life and death in your tongue. Speak life. As you go today, don't just pray thanking God for what he's done in your life, but command your day. Speak over your day and walk into that which you have spoken. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey,